please make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon for more future videos like this and also share this video with your friends ab initial interview question and answers explain what does dependency analysis means in ab initio in ab initio dependency analysis is a process through which the eme examines a project entirely and traces how data is transferred and transformed from component to component field by field within and between graphs mention what is ab initio ab initio is a latin word meaning from the beginning ab initio is a tool used to extract transform and load data it is also used for data analysis data manipulation batch processing and graphical user interface based parallel processing explain what is the architecture of ab initio architecture of ab initio includes gde graphical development environment cooperating system enterprise meta environment eme and conduct it explain how ab initio eme is segregated ab initio is logically divided into two segments data integration portion and user interface access to metadata information mention how can you connect eme to ab initio server to connect with ab initio server there are several ways like set ab underscore air underscore root log in to eme web interface url is given below to gde you can connect to eme data hyphen store and through air hyphen command mention what is the role of cooperating system in ab initio the ab initio cooperating system provide features like manage and run ab initio graph and control the etl processes provide ab initio extensions to the operating system etl processes monitoring and debugging metadata management and interaction with the eme explain how you can run a graph infinitely in ab initio to execute graph infinitely the graph and script should call the .ksh file of the graph therefore if the graph name is abc.mp then in the end script of the graph it should call to abc.ksh this will run the graph for infinitely mention what is the difference between lookup file and lookup in ab initio lookup file defines one or more serial files specifically flat files it is a physical file where the data for the lookup is stored while lookup is the component of ab initio graph where we can save data and retrieve it by using a key parameter mention what are the different types of parallelism used in ab initio different types of parallelism used in ab initio includes component parallelism a graph with multiple processes executing simultaneously on separate data uses parallelism data parallelism a graph that works with data divided into segments and operates on each segments respectively uses data parallelism pipeline parallelism a graph that deals with multiple components executing simultaneously on the same data uses pipeline parallelism each component in the pipeline read continuously from the upstream components processes data and writes to downstream components both components can operate in parallel explain what is sort component in ab initio the sort component in ab initio reorders the data it comprises of two parameters key and max hyphen core key it is one of the parameters for sort component which determines the collation order max hyphen core this parameter controls how often the sort component dumps data from memory to disk mention what dedupe component and replicate component does dedupe component it is used to remove duplicate records 
replicate component it combines the data records from the inputs into one flow and writes a copy of that flow to each of its output ports explain what is sandbox a sandbox is referred for the collection of graphs and related files that are saved in a single directory tree and behaves as a group for the purpose of navigation version control and migration explain what is departition in ab initio departition is done in order to read data from multiple flow or operations and are used to rejoin data records from different flows there are several departition components available which includes gather merge interleave and concatenation mention what is roll up component roll up component enables the users to group the records on certain field values it is a multi stage function and consists initialize 2 and roll up 3 how to add default rules in the transformer go to component properties navigate to the parameter tab page and double click on the transform parameter the transform editor page will open click on the edit menu and select the add default rules option from the drop down you can choose from match names and wildcard options what is a local lookup local lookup file has records which can be placed in main memory they use transform function for retrieving records much faster than retrieving from the disk how does the force underscore error function work if any mentioned conditions are not met the force underscore error will forces an error it will be useful when you want to stop the execution of a graph if it does not meet the set condition and also it will send the records to the reject port and error message to the error port what is surrogate key the system generated unique sequential number is called as surrogate key it acts as a primary key please make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon for more future videos like this and also share this video with your friends